All right, we're here cracking up very early this morning on the set of NCIS. This is the squad room, which you know well, also known as the bullpen. And three of the big stars are with me this morning. Cody DePablo, Ziva David, Michael Weatherly, who plays Tony Donozo, and Mark Harmon. Hello. You don't have to bow for me. That's okay. And Mark Harmon, Jethro Gibbs. Good morning, guys. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Very, early. very early here in Los Angeles. First of all, your name, Cody. Is that your real name? Well, it's my real nickname. <laughs> it's your real nickname. <laughs> my real name is Maria Jose, which is a, a sort of a long Spanish okay. name. Full name. Maria Jose de Pablo. Maria What's the Jose rest of it? Pablo. Fernandez. Fernandez. So the whole thing. Which, by the way, it keeps on going. Just out of what a small world this is, I knew her as Maria Jose because both of us started our careers. We're both from Miami. We know a million people She's in common. She's very excited about Miami thing. Yeah. And we both worked at Spanish TV in the same place. We did. And now we're both here on CBS. You are on this hit show. And I want to ask you, Mark, why do you think that NCIS is bigger than ever? Because this really is the little engine that could. Well, you know what? I think it starts if we all really like each other after 144 episodes. Have a great crew, great cast, and we work hard. Not that that's a guarantee of anything, but, <laughs> yeah. Um, but it know, helps. Yeah, I think we've built our audience steadily over seven years, and uh, there's a lot of people responsible for that. I think one of the reasons that people love the show is not only because it delves into the science and the cases that NCIS investigates, but also because you throw a lot of comedy in. It's like, it's like a dramedy, so I want to ask you, Michael. Where did that come from? <laughs> I, 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 I get this a lot. <laughs> I thought that was going to come from him. Well, the truth, the, truth the, uh, the, the origin story, do you mind the origin story? No, no. I was messing around, which sometimes I do. Right. And Mark was having a scene with like an admiral or something, and, uh, and I had no lines in the scene, which is dangerous. So I'm over chatting with a background uh, artist who was... Yeah, this was years ago, and uh, it was pretty. She was attractive. Mm, what and, a shock! And all of a sudden, I felt this stinging pain on the back of my head, and and a uh, slight whiplash. And Harmon was standing over me, and he said, "Not while we're working." <laughs> and then he walked back over, and that was uh, they. That was not in the script, but okay. then when they saw it, it, it became it stuck. 145 episodes of me getting smacked on the back of the head, which I often deserve. All and right. which we all really enjoy. And you guys enjoy. Okay, let me ask you, season six ends with the mother of all cliffhangers. Poor Ziva is left behind in Israel. She's no longer on your team. Poor Ziva? She, well, she's being a terror. Don't, don't start this back and okay. forth here. This is for the show. Because you do feel. So, and then you come back without her, and you have all sorts of resumes on your desk looking for people to replace her. I want to show a clip and then ask you about it. Okay, you pick. After we get back, first things first, got to narrow down prospective agents. It's got to be a woman. Those are just the women. Are there photos in here, boss? Boss, really? Tony picks because, you know, coming from anyone else, that might be considered a lapse in judgment. Okay, you both pick. That makes much more sense. They can't trust me to be professional? No casting couch. I don't want you to find a replacement. I want Ziva. Is she coming back? You'll have to see. Oh, please, give me <laughs> We're something. We're only a couple of hours away. Give me I, something or I'm busting out the Mossad interrogation <laughs> techniques. I think it's, sort of, it's sort of like bit. Burton and Taylor. You know, they, I think we could get married like several times. And there might be uh, a Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf somewhere. Okay, so she might come back and marry you. Or she's Cleopatra. <laughs> I think there should be a small hint in here that okay. you're standing here interviewing her. That... Ah, no, that's true. See, you're good. That's why they pay you. <laughs> Very good. All right. Thank you so much. We'll have much more with the cast of NCIS here on the early show from Los Angeles, Valencia, actually, 45 minutes outside LA. But for right now, let's send it back to you guys in New York. There you go, Maggie. I'll tell you. You know, I'll be staying tuned because I want to see if Harmon will give you one of these. Right. You know. <laughs> Okay. I think that will you will show that you belong if you get a little pop in the back of the head. We'll watch. Harry we'll stay is saying tuned. he's going to watch to see if you give me a little, because that'll really be like my initiation into NCIS. Let Michael do that. No, no, no. Coach. We'll see how it goes. All right, all right. <laughs> and NCIS is so big, there is now a spinoff. It's called NCIS Los Angeles. It also premieres tonight and stars LL Cool J. He plays special agent Sam Hanna and even wrote a new song about the show called NCIS No Crew Is Superior. Let's take a listen. There you go. 
I just, is there anything you can't do? I wonder. LL Cool J is with us this morning. Good Always morning. a pleasure. Good morning, Harry. There you Good go. Morning. We talked um, last spring as this was being announced. Yes. Now you're at work. You've had a chance to shoot several episodes already. Yes. What is it like? It's a lot of fun. It's exciting. Uh, I get to uh, go home to my family every day, which is great. Uh, you know, long hours, but challenging, but we have a lot of fun. Chris O'Donnell's a lot of fun to work with. Um, you know, my crew is great, you know, uh, the cast members. It's just a lot of fun. It's yeah. exciting. There's, there's all this talk about you and O'Donnell. I mean, it's like, is there some bromance going on? <laughs> right? A bromance? Yeah, well, we do get along. We have great chemistry. Uh, me being a New York guy, him coming from the north side of Chicago, it's kind of like that Midwest meets that urban in a city thing and it, it really works we gel well together and uh, we've been having a lot of fun and I hope that as the sh as the season progresses we can have that same kind of chemistry that the original guys have right I want to take a look at a clip of the show of you two guys together okay. in action here. let's do it McGuire lives at 1041 apartment one oh, well, what, what are we if anyone asks City inspectors. No, nobody talks to city inspectors. Okay, you're a realtor. I'm your client. You show me an apartment. Do I look like a realtor? Okay, I'm a realtor. You're the guy looking for the apartment. Okay? Can we go? <laughs> <laughs> we love, part of the reason I think folks love this show so much, it's procedural. But the people who are in the show really get, I mean, you get actual characters to play. Yeah, um, there's some great characters. I mean, it is a procedural, so there are some, some things in it that are kind of like formulaic, but, but there's a character element to it that takes it to another level. So, you know, my character is a former Navy SEAL. Uh, you know, speaks a few different languages, uh, is an expert in Middle Eastern affairs. Uh, uh, Chris's character uh, is like a master of disguise and has been a lot of different places and has been at the FBI, has been at the CIA, now he's finally at NCIS. But we still haven't learned everything about our characters, so we're as much in the dark as the, the, the public is because you find out as the show goes on. Is there enough macho in the, I mean, you got so much macho just in that car. The car's not big enough. You know, there's a lot of macho in it, but there's Linda Hunt as well. Okay. And uh, Linda Hunt is uh, phenomenal, and she has right. Academy Award, and that's real macho. That's and uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and you know we also have Daniela Rua, uh, who is also in the show as well. So yeah. there's a nice balance. There's a heart, there's heart in the show as well. You could do a bunch of different things. You've yeah. had so much success doing many different things. To hitch yourself, mm -hmm. your identity, your future. To something like this is not a decision that's easy, easily made. No. Why did you do it? Uh, I had a great experience on, a, on another uh, drama. Uh, I did the season opener of another drama a few seasons ago and it just really, I, I caught the bug. Yeah. I really wanted to act and I wanted to act on a regular basis and uh, I wanted to challenge myself and allow myself to go to another level and allow myself to mature and experience something new in my life. Mm. And uh, part of that maturity process is not continuing to do the same things that you've always done. Yeah. So uh, I decided to commit to this show, commit to what I thought was a great team. I believe in the NCIS brand and hopefully people enjoy the show. There you go. We'll look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you very much. LL Cool J. NCIS Los Angeles premieres tonight at 9, 8 central time right here on CBS. Yep. Uh, yep. Up next, we're <laughs> back with the cast of NCIS and they will answer your tweets when we continue. Some more.